Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can connect Follow Up Boss to Google Contacts, so that all those contacts you have in your smartphone, all those contacts you've added to Gmail, can automatically get pushed into Follow Up Boss for follow up. And also any contacts you've made in Follow Up Boss can also get pushed into your phone. So when somebody calls you or texts you, that you get an accurate caller ID instead of just some mysterious numbers. It's super easy to set this up. Let me show you how. First thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and click Discover Connections to see all the connections available here. It's gonna be marketing apps, productivity apps, real estate apps. So just scroll around until you see apps that look familiar, stuff that you're using. Here's Follow Up Boss under F, so I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna show me all the ways I can automate Follow Up Boss at API Nation. Let's go down here and we're gonna find Google Contacts. But if you're using any of these other apps, go ahead and click through there and you can set up automations for them as well. Here's the Google Contacts sync. We have two workflows available, two syncs, follow up boss to Google Contacts and back again. So I'm gonna set up both of these. I'm gonna start with follow up boss to Google Contacts. I'll hit activate. First thing, I'm gonna sign into my API Nation account. If you don't have an API Nation account, just go ahead and click this link up here to create one. Or you can also sign in using your Google account. That'll create an API Nation account as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sign right in. Great. Now the first step to connecting Follow Boss to Google Contacts is to connect Follow Boss to API Nation. To do that, we just need the API key and we're gonna name this connection. So let's go to Follow Boss. And to grab that API key, I'm gonna to go to Admin. Come all the way over here to More and click on API. You're gonna see all the API keys you've created. If you haven't created any yet, you're gonna click this button to create one and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine API Nation because that's what I'm using it for. Hit create API key. It's gonna show you this key. This is the only time you'll see it, so make sure you copy it. And now we'll go back to API Nation to plug it in. All right, so we got the API key. I'm just gonna paste it in here and name my company. All right, now we're gonna connect Google Contacts. Similar thing, hit this button and we are just gonna choose the Google account we're gonna use and connect it. All right, we're just about set up here. So you have a few options to create this sync. Do you wanna send everybody through, sync all contacts on first run? You can click this box if you'd like. And then as they arrive in Google Contacts, do I wanna put them in a special folder? Maybe I want a special folder called Follow Up Boss. That way everybody that comes over from Follow Up Boss ends up in the same folder. I know who they are and I can keep them more organized. Totally up to you. If you use default, it's just gonna put them into Google Contacts unlabeled. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I just want them in there. And then as they arrive in Google Contacts, if you already have somebody with that name, that email address, should we overwrite the rest of the information or should we just fill in the blanks? I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to just fill in the blanks. And I'm gonna hit subscribe. So this has created my sync. It's not yet active. Just do a final check here. Also, if you wanna do some deeper filtering, you can use our filter here. You can see, you can tell it, maybe I don't want some people from a certain phone number, or maybe I only want some people from a certain area code, I could do that. Maybe I only want people from a certain stage, I could do that. Uh, something a lot of people will do is they'll filter for stage, and then they'll put them in a label named for that stage, and then they'll just create a sync for each stage, so that as you move them through the stages, they get the labels in Google Contacts, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna use no filter right now. I just want them into my phone. I'm gonna come on down here to mapping. We do most of this for you. First name, last name, a mobile phone. This all looks good. If there's anything else you want added, let's come on down here. There's a note section, which is a great place to put some stuff. So if there's something from Follow Up Boss I want added, I can hit plus, and then I can just search for the field I want. Maybe I want stage in my note section so I know what's going on. That's great. And you can add multiple things into your notes section. So maybe I wanna do stage, so I'm just gonna type stage here and then the tag. And uh, what else do I want? Let's see here, claimed, that's kind of helpful. And anything else, assign lender name, that might be nice, so. Great. So I got stage, claimed, lender. I can put it into my notes. But if there's another field you wanna put those in, feel free. This all looks good. I'm gonna go to the top and activate this sync. All right, the sync is up and running. Now let's turn on its counterpart, Google Contacts back to Follow Up Boss. So I'm just gonna click this logo here, the Follow Up Boss logo, to go back to all the Follow Up Boss 
syncs. Come on down here to the Google contacts, just like last time. And this time, instead of creating follow up boss to Google contacts, I'm going to choose the other one, Google contacts back to follow boss. Activating it is a lot quicker this time because all we have to do is choose those accounts we've already connected. So I'm just going to select that account. I'm going to select this account from follow up boss. Again, we get similar configuration options. Do I want to send everybody from Google contacts into follow up boss or just people from now on? I'm going to just stick with people from now on. But if you're trying to get these updated, I would go ahead and sync all contacts on first run. You can here choose the folder you want, the label you want sent into follow up boss. So for example, if you created a follow up boss label in Google contacts, you can choose that label here. That way only people who get labeled follow up boss end up in follow up boss. It can be a nice way to segment out people you're not necessarily ready to put into follow up boss and keep it a little bit cleaner. Let's come on down here to subscribe. And again, just a final check, which group do you want? I want everybody in there, but I could choose a label if I wanted. The filter, again, if I only wanted to choose certain people. And the mapping. This all looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add a zip code here. Zip, there it is. And let's go to the top and activate the sync. So there we go. Both syncs are now active. And that's it. Follow Boss is now connected to Google Contacts. It's a two-way sync. You can filter on a bunch of fields in Follow Up Boss and get a bunch of information into Google Contacts and then back into Follow Up Boss. It's gonna make you way more productive and take your contact management game to the next level. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.